Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, I wanted to show you a quick little test on a 1910 air seeder. Now this this air drill is it's a it's a Seed Star 2, okay, and it's also the same on a Gen 1 Seed Star. It's just a little bit different in the display how you go into diagnostics and look at that. But what I wanted to look at real quick is the meter speed, or actually testing the meter sensors okay and i like to do this annually and man it's a really really go-to quick deal if you've got a guy that's got an overseeding problem and you've done a meter rate verification and verified the meter and you're still having that problem um one thing that i have found and it'll sneak it'll sneak up on you and fool you real quick um do a test on the meter sensor okay and so your meter sensor is going to be located here on the left hand side of the air cart okay and it's going to be reading these notches on what i call a tone wheel looks kind of like a sprocket or a gear okay and so what we want to do is we want to come down here on this tone wheel and put us a mark right here in front of that sensor okay so that we can turn this one full revolution okay and when we turn this one full revolution, then this sensor should count 60 pulses, okay? Because there's 60 uh, gaps or teeth on this tone wheel, okay? And so it should see 60 pulses. Um, I have seen some problems with that in the past. And so it's just a quick way to test your front and rear meter sensors, okay? And uh, we'll go up in the display and I'll show you how to get into that test and do that. Okay, so we're up in our tractor now. Um, we'll get our main drill page up here so that we can look at diagnostics. So we're on our main drill page here and we'll go down to J here to the right and click on our diagnostic, which looks like a book and a wrench, okay? And then it says uh, controller identification and we wanna do system test, okay? We'll acknowledge that we're entering into diagnostic mode. Okay, so on the first page, you can test your main drive clutch. We can turn it on and off. Um, we can turn our front meter on and off. We can turn our rear meter on and off. We can go to the next page and we can test both of our lamps on the front of our cart, make sure they work. Go to the next page. Okay, this is the page on page three that we want to test the front meter sensor. So we'll hit front meter sensor. Um, we really don't need to, well, we could, but we're really not going to uh, want to turn the main drive clutch on at this point. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and turn on the front meter. So we'll enable the front meter. Okay, we're going to hit the start stop. It's going to say running there. Okay, make sure that your pulse count is on zero. If it's not, you can zero it here, or if you want to test it again, you can zero it here. Okay, and so what we're going to do is go back and turn the crank, and we should see... 60 pulses here where it says pulse count after we turn that meter one full revolution okay so we're going to go back and do that real quick turn this hand crank okay we're going to turn that one full revolution of we're actually looking at the tone wheel on the meter we want to turn that one full revolution okay so i'm going to turn it around till my reference mark Okay, my reference mark is in front of the sensor again. This is your meter sensor here. The reference mark is there. Okay, we're going to go up and take a look at the count on the display. If you can see that good or not, but our count is 61 pulses, okay? I would call that a good sensor, okay? Now, what I've found in the past is if you're having some problems with overseeding, um, especially this is not a... A, uh, this is not a variable rate drill, but on a variable rate drill, if everything's working right, um, man, that if that sensor's bad and it's not counting that 61 pulses, it's going to cause you an overseeding problem, okay? Because that transmission is going to want to climb up and climb up and turn that thing super fast because it's only seeing it's only seeing 30 pulses per revolution, okay? Uh, it needs to be seeing 60, so. Uh, my mind, man, that is a quick, quick way to check that out pre-season. Make sure that both of your sensors are good before you go to the field, okay? Um, that one's caught me before, 
and caused a lot of problems. So um, just a quick, just a quick tip, man. I hope that helps you out along the way. And uh, just a quick, quick tip on how to check your front and rear meter sensor. And I uh, hope that helps you out. I got some other videos out there on air drills, and so. Uh, take a look at those. If you need something, uh, you might find what you need there. And uh, hey, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here. Other videos here. Subscribe here. And buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think. Make we'll it. make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, already, already burning me out. Some bloopers He's sitting in the sun over here, man.